Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, as you can see today, we have uh, Coronation Star Scream. I uh, just got this in a couple of weeks back. It was part of, uh, towards the end of April, uh, my pile of loot from BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, so it was really cool to get this in. So I figure why not, let me throw a video up there of this guy. Uh, really cool packaging, no plastic uh, window. I think they're trying to uh, sort of step away from that, but the artwork here is really cool. Uh, there, Starscream with the cone heads wearing his full cor uh, coronation gear. Uh, really cool on the side here, another one. Uh, pretty much the full uh, body version of, of, of what's in the front. Really cool standing there. And here is the back showing the actual figure and all the accessories that it comes with. You also get a cool background. So I'm going to open this up and uh, sort of mess around with it and uh, we'll look at the figure. Okay guys, so I've taken Starscream out of the box, transformed him a bit, played around with the accessories. Really cool figure. Uh, in the box, in addition to the figure and all the accessories, you do get this cool uh, background that you can use for toy photography if that's your thing. Uh, it's a really cool display piece, you know, pretty much what was in the animation there in that whole scene where uh, he's going through his coronation. Uh, you also get your instructions. The transformation is the exact same transformation as Earthrise. The uh, Starscream, they also show you all the accessories, how you could store them, uh, how you can place them on Starscream, etc. Uh, so you get that. We'll put that off to the side. The main guy, obviously, uh, in addition to all the accessories, is uh, Starscream here. And this is pretty much uh, Earthrise Starscream. There are some slight uh, differences here and there of the toy. So I figure I put them side by side with uh, Earthrise Starscream. So here's uh, Earthrise on the right and here's Coronation Starscream on the left. Uh, one easy way to tell them apart is the fact that um, the Coronation Starscream has these hands that open. So they have these articulated fingers so that you could seem like he's pointing. Versus this guy who has the fists that are sort of fixed in place. Uh, there are other little touches, like for example, on um, Earthrise uh, Starscream here, you have these parts here by his knees painted like a dark metallic gray. Uh, here, they're not painted at all. Uh, other little things, uh, for example, here on the wings, here on the, the tails, tail wings, the Earthrise, sorry, the Coronation's not, doesn't have the painting detail like the Earthrise does. Uh, the other thing is the uh, the Septicon insignia. I don't know if you could see it there on um, Coronation Starscream here that I'm pointing at. Uh, the insignia is a bit bigger than um, on Earthrise. So, so on Earthrise is a bit smaller. Uh, I think other than that, um, you know, other than the hands and those little color differences, I haven't seen any other differences at all the toy uh it's pretty much the exact same figure with some slight touches uh here and there the face the head is exactly the the same so from that perspective uh with this set you're not getting anything that's different two or two different rather uh, as you can see though here my copy has some slight paint either damage or something that wasn't painted correctly this guy earthrise doesn't but uh, just something to note. Uh, and then the cool thing, and let's put Earthrise Starscream aside. Uh, in addition to getting uh, Earthrise Starscream here with the new hands, you also get his accessories from his coronation. So you get his uh, crown here that Galvatron eventually sort of steps on. Really cool that can go sitting on top of his head. You get the shoulder uh, armor pieces that make him look like a giant Gundam. Uh, these are really cool. Uh, these go attached in the sections where the null rays would normally go right here. And they also have sections for additional diff uh, different null rays, which you also get. You get two of these. And essentially what these are for are to attach to the shoulder uh, cannons, the shoulder armor pieces like that. And that's done because you have to take these out and put these shoulder pieces on that peg. So essentially you would do the same for both. There you go. So it looks like that and there is articulation there as well. So it's cool. They also give you his fabulous cape. 
So there is this cape with some articulation, which you can close it to make it smaller. You can uh, make it bigger. This goes attached uh, on a peg on the back of Starscream. Um, it's back there, if you could see it, but behind a cone head. And it just goes attached, and it can also move side to side. Um, again, really cool. And um, the cool thing, or more cool things in this set, is this uh, throne made of hard plastic. It's uh, like a deep purple, almost Galvatron colors. Nice Decepticon um, insignia there, really cool. And then on the back, you also get uh, sections where you can store his uh, weapon. You can hang his cape from here, his uh, crown. All the little things that you see there can go attach here. So, for example, when you're taking these uh, out to put on the shoulder armor, you can take the null rays and attach them to the back, which I think it's uh, really cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put all this different stuff on him, and then we'll keep going in the video. So here is Starscream with all his gear on, makes him look really, really cool. Uh, you have the shoulder pieces here that I've already put on. They go on the pegs where the null rays would normally go. Uh, these other null rays go attached to the shoulder pieces to sort of make, you know, make them fit. And it gives him some articulation there so that when he uh, sort of points up, you know, the, the null rays can move up with it. But uh, really cool. Uh, that they added that the crown itself uh, fits just fine right there in place um, makes him look like the king that he pretends to be um, really nice the cape as I said goes uh, attached via a peg right here on the back you do have to move the this cone part up to put it in in there and you could move this um, essentially up left right um no depending on how you want to make it look uh because it's articulated you can also fold it so it makes it a, it gives it a little bit less of a footprint really cool i prefer to have this uh, stretched out like this and sort of pointing you know sort of like it was in the in the box and the in the cartoon and the movie rather so there he is he looks really cool i think it's a nice look again and you have to have a bit of nostalgia to uh get this toy right it's pretty much just earthrise starscream with some plastic extra plastic accessories and the throne the throne is really cool he can sit on it uh but you'd have to take off his cape which you can as i said you could take the cape off and store it back here and then he can uh sit there uh i'd figure i put up some other toys that perhaps could also sit on the throne. So I had a, here's a Behold Galvatron. Um, he can sit there on the throne as well. You just have to sort of play around. But if, if that's something, you know, you're looking at doing and the purple on this guy matches up exactly with the uh, the throne. And, and actually Galvatron fits perfectly here. So that's a, a sort of like a thing you could do. You know, if you wanted Galvatron sitting there with Starscream pointing at him or whatever it is. Uh, really cool. The other figure, I want to try someone with a bit of a of a backpack to see if they would fit. So I had, um, this is Siege Shockwave. And um, I forgot this guy has ratchets on his legs, but he can sit there. You have to play around with him because the Shockwave here has a bit of a backpack. He does uh, have a hard time sort of sitting all the way in like Galvatron did. But there you go. That's something you could do. And his legs kind of get in the way too. But you can fi finagle that to, to get him to sit there. So uh, again, uh, you know, someone with a bit of a backpack can can fit on the, uh, on the throne. And then I also want to try uh, a little guy. So here is... Uh, Netflix uh, Bumblebee, he can sit on the throne, but obviously because his legs are so uh, short, he'd have to sit up there like he's some kind of toddler waiting for his parents. But uh, there you go. He, do he does fit. And as I said, because this Coronation Starscream is pretty much... Um, sorry, he's um, Earthrise Starscream. Uh, this other guy, the Earthrise uh, Starscream, can also, um, you know, sort of uh, sit there. That's uh, quite your thing, you know. 
You have to you have to mess around with it, but um, he can sit there. Uh, again, is these are the exact same figure, right? So no no issues with this guy sort of fitting in. You just have to play around with it um, a little more to to get him to sit in place. Really cool stuff. Uh, I think the accessories are great, you know, if you have a bit of nostalgia for the movie like, like I do. And also if you're into perhaps like toy photography, it's really cool that they were able to give us a throne and the, um, the crown, the cape and the shoulder accessories. It makes them look really cool. Uh, again, the fact that you can store his accessories on this, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Now, uh, this figure as is with everything is close to i think it was 50 dollars when i got this um you're essentially just getting another uh earthrise uh starscream if is that worth it to you that's something you'd have to make up your mind on on your on your end for me it was simply because i have nostalgia for this 1986 movie it was those 30 seconds or so you know before starscream uh finally gets it right after all those uh, uh those two seasons of uh wanting to take over and take over he finally does and it lasts him all 20 or 30 seconds before galvatron sort of comes in and vaporizes him um so for me uh it, it was definitely uh worth it and now i do have two star screams that are exactly you know exactly the same but I may end up displaying the Earthrise guys, uh, guy sitting on the throne and then this guy sort of standing in the pose that you guys see him there. So uh, really cool. I like the, the articulated hands. I do think all the accessories make uh, make this figure. Um, I do wish there perhaps would have been a way maybe uh, of if they would have offered just the accessories like the throne, the cape, the shoulder part, the crown just by itself for maybe, I don't know, 25 bucks. Um, I think uh, that would have definitely been a better deal than throwing in another Earthrise Starscream. But I don't know, maybe perhaps they're giving folks who missed this mold uh, a chance to, to get him again. But I don't know. Uh, I myself do like this figure. I think it's great. The I won't go through the transformation because it's exactly the exact same mold. The exact same transformation is the same jet that we're all accustomed to. Uh, no complaints from from my end. I, I really do like this figure. I like the accessories. Uh, I think it's 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 very well made. Uh, again, I do wish they perhaps could have would have been able to give us option to just get the accessories because you could essentially put all these accessories on your Earthrise figure or uh, you know any of the Earthrise um, seekers as well. Uh, Thundercracker, Skywarp, and they would fit just fine. But again, we are where we're at. Right, we're getting a uh, just new version of figures with accessories. So there we are. Uh, I'm actually really happy with this toy. I'm glad it was made. I'm glad we have all these accessories so I can put them on my display. Um, and again, reminisce about the moment in the cartoon in the movie. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for your time as always. Um, and please enjoy the rest of your day and be safe out there. Take care.